a story that um, really affected me personally because it was my son, who is uh, mixed race, who came home from school and said that um, kids on the schoolyard were saying that uh, he had coronavirus because he was half Chinese. Um, and I just about lost my mind. You know, you, you just don't, you don't want to stand for that type of racism out there or ignorance out there because it just, it, it's just so frustrating. You think that we, we were beyond this. The challenge is, I said, hey, let's go uh, to a Chinese restaurant. Nobody's going. And it's like, oh, mom, you know, relax. You're overreacting. It's not a big deal. I'm sure people are still going out for Chinese food. Um, and she's like, no, people are seriously worried about the coronavirus. They're not going to Chinese restaurants anymore. So I didn't really believe her until we went. And we went at like 6.30, 7 o'clock at night on a weeknight. And it should have been busy because it was one of the most popular restaurants in the city. And there was one other table there with people in it. And this was well, well, well before any sort of the quarantine stuff. Like who is Chinese has traveled to China. Yeah, Those obviously. Those who are yeah. here mm -hmm. uh, were born here. <laughs> they haven't gone to China. Yeah, exactly, and, yeah. And it's not uh, a risk. Um, and it's just, it is racist and it's not acceptable. And mm -hmm. people should really just kind of mind their own business and do what they can to prevent it. And mm -hmm. they